Okay, this is what I think about Kanye West and this whole White Lives Matter shirt thing. Kanye West need to be protected at all times. Most of you probably never even listened to the interview on Fox News with Carlton Tucker or Tucker Carlson. No, I bet none of y'all watched that interview with Tucker Carlson to find out where Kanye's mind really is. Dude is not crazy. And I said this in a video in the past, man, you can't be crazy and be a billionaire and maintain your billions. Just can't happen. So I don't really understand why so many black folks are upset with Kanye West especially if you don't rock with Kanye West. If you always put the man out as being crazy, you rejected Kanye West, you talked about um, how insane he was because he was a Trump supporter and you rejected him, you threatened the man's life, and now you're so concerned about a White Lives Matter shirt. Not only that, and I'm going to let you watch the video. I'm going to let you watch a portion of that Fox News interview with Kanye West. But I find it so interesting that so many Black people seem to be offended with Kanye West and Candace Owen, especially Kanye West, wearing that White Lives Matter t-shirt when Black Americans demonstrate White Lives Matter all the time without even realizing it. Now you're probably wondering, how do we support White Lives Matter fearless? You support White Lives Matter when you abort and prioritize aborting black children. Black children don't have a right to live. Their life don't matter. So black females and black males are supporting the murder of unborn black children while the white lives matter more because you allow the white lives to live. Case in point, George Zimmerman should not still be alive. If you care so much about what happened to Trayvon Martin, and yet George Zimmerman is still allowed to walk this earth and look at all the mischief that George Zimmerman caused after the death of Trayvon Martin. So his life, his life mattered much more than Trayvon Martin because the so-called black community that, 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 that appeared or made it appear that they cared so much about the black life and, um, Trayvon Martin, and you protest and you riot it, and yet you're afraid, black males are afraid to confront or take care of George Zimmerman. Makes no sense to me. But Kanye really needs to be protected. I support Kanye West. And Kanye is not crazy. If you watch Carlton Tucker or Tucker Carlson, don't know why I keep messing up the man's name, but if you watch Tucker Carlson and his expression on his face, he was even surprised at how intelligent Kanye West was. But you can't be a billionaire and be crazy. Kanye is not crazy but Kanye plays the game. He'll let you think that he's crazy and uh, Kanye is off his meds because he's wearing a, a Trump hat or, or Make America Great Again hat. So black people automatically start attacking him and they don't care. And I mentioned in videos time and time again, they care nothing about black Americans. They only care about your votes. See, that's why they're upset with Kanye West is because he's influencing the black vote. Because you're going to have black people that's going to support Kanye West. 
and they're not going to vote Democrat. That's why they're outraged. But I'm going to let you watch a portion of this video. And then you tell me what you think. So you said um, that your father said when he saw the shirt, White Lives Matter, it's great to see a black man stating the obvious. So by which I think you meant that's obviously true. Yeah, that my favorite response, because I kept on thinking like, you know, people, they're looking for an explanation and people say, well, as an artist, you don't have to give an explanation, but as a leader, you do. Yes, I think that's right. So the answer to why I wrote White Lives Matter on a shirt is because they do. It's the obvious thing. Yeah. Why, why do you think that's so, and, and I assume the implication is, of course, all lives matter because they're lives, because God created them. Yeah. Why do you think that that would be considered controversial? Because the same people that have stripped us of our identity and labeled us as a, as a color have told us what it means to be black and the vernacular that we're supposed to have. My dad grew up as a military brat and his family moved around, but they were based mostly in Delaware. And at the time, if he, if he wasn't, if they weren't the only black family, they were one of the few. And he would be discriminated against because he was black. So by the time he got into college, he would be discriminated against. He went to a black college, he would be discriminated against because they said he talked too white. Yes. And then he played the kick drum in the band. So when he would go to the club, and the music was playing, where would he clap his hands? Where the kick drum is. Yeah. So it was the opposite of where everyone else right, exactly. was clapping their hands. And uh, this is the most elegant and tasteful person that I know. And when my mom, when, they, when, when the school suggested, like the herding systems, because what they do is take the, um, the black community and they separate us. And they separate the families and the educated, uh, they, they, you know, they push this, you know, need for higher education. And us as blacks, we discriminate against each other and say, well, I got my PhD and you don't have your PhD, so I'm better than you. And so my mom, she had a PhD and she was influenced to uh, move to the south side of Chicago and take this job at Chicago State University. And she told my dad, if you come, if you come for us, you know, you'll never see him again. Because, you know, the media ridiculed me for getting the house next door to Kim to see my children. And they even said that I was stalking her and her new boyfriend because I bought the house next door to see my children. And I, that's, that's how I knew that, that, uh, that my mom had said that to him. I said, Dad, you know, they moved us to one of the most dangerous, agreed upon to be one of the most dangerous places in the world. It's almost like they tried to kill me or something. Uh, uh, I said, Dad, why didn't you ever, why did you never come to get us? And that's when he told me, that's when he told me that she was told that. You know, there's so many things that are put in Kim's head. You know, they bring influencers, like, no one ever knew where Corey Gamble came from. No one in the fashion world knows where Gabby came from. These people were practically made in a laboratory, in my opinion. And one of the things that they're really good at doing is being nice and being likable. And what they do is for people that have some form of influence, whether it's an educated black woman like my mother that became the head of the English department at Chicago State University, or whether it's the most influential uh, white woman on the planet, being my ex-wife, they have people that are around them at all times telling them what to be afraid of. It's like not what to do or say specifically, it's what to be afraid of. And if you have a person that isn't afraid of them, you know, like a Russell Brand or yeah. Candace Owens, right. or, it's not that we have to agree, 
right no. with this but they're not afraid they're not afraid to state what their opinion is yes everyone no one is god and everyone has an opinion so a conversation like this is a window into a world that you don't see so if you're familiar with west from the media you think of him as an individual man. What you don't think about is that he is at the center of a battle, and people like him are at the center of a battle to get a message out. Mouthed by the lips of influencers like him and so many others, that extends a storyline on behalf of, well, in this case, the status quo. So there are a lot of people vying to make certain that people like him say the right things. And so they want to control Kanye West and what he says. They want to control this man, see? And when you have someone like Kanye West, that's a Trump supporter, he's wearing a shirt that says white lives matter. He's now out of the democratic box. You know, he he's doing, it's like when I supported Trump, when I came out as a Trump supporter, man, I had a lot of black people that were upset. I had so-called friends that stopped being my friend. I even had family members that unfriended me on social media. See, I couldn't have my own opinions. See, I couldn't have my own political views. I had to go with the mass majority. And Biden came out and says that if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. So to maintain their blackness or their black card, you had so-called black Americans voted for Joe Biden. They voted Democrat. I support Kanye West. Go back and watch the whole interview. You would be amazed. You would be, you would be impressed. Kanye need to be protected at all costs. We need people like Kanye West and don't be so quick to say that the man is crazy or he has mental health issues because that's another way of how the media, how the Democrats control you by putting you out there as being crazy, by putting you out there as having a mental health issue. And so many black people that, that turn their backs on Kanye West because he's a Trump supporter, so many black Americans that don't even buy his products, care nothing about Kanye West, don't support the man. Now you claim to be so concerned about him wearing a White Lives Matter shirt. When you display how White Lives Matter by dating outside of your race, you have black females that talk about how they don't want black children and how they're gonna abort their black male children and how you're having babies by a white man and you praise the biracial child because the biracial child is light skinned or, or, or have good hair. And you have so many black Americans and Africans from the continent that's bleaching their skin, that's wearing weed that looks like a white woman so yeah, you support White Lives Matter. You may not wear a shirt, but you say it in your actions. And they say actions speak louder than words. So your word, your actions are speaking much louder than your words. And then Kanye West wearing a White Lives Matter shirt. So White Lives Matter matters to you in your actions. So I support Kanye West and Kanye West should be protected at all costs. So that's my opinion on this. Feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Till next time. I'm fearless.